City Boy Farming, and in this video, we're going to be actually using my hydroponic system. So, if you saw my latest video, I literally did an unboxing of this uh, self explanatory, like I said. So, first thing we're going to do is add water, and we're going to fill it up to the top. I got my handy dandy water jug. I'm probably going to make two trips of this. Three, maybe. Wow, I didn't even hit the first mark. I will be right back. At the next water level will be five milliliters. Let me find you. Boom. All right. Now we got that started. We gotta actually take the plant food. So it's at five meters. So I don't know how many. So it's five milliliters per liter. So there's five, since it's five liters, I'll have to put 25 liters in, of each plant food inside this hydroponic system. Put inside, I have to put 25 milliliters of each plant food inside the cup. Stir it up, shake it up. How are we supposed to do it? Uh, then I will pour it inside the hydroponic system. Inside. Mm. Then I take this, close it up. Yeah. Now I will need the caps. It's seven of them. So. Let's get to it. I'm going to take the row pods. That's when one of these straw things come in. Take those. I'm actually gonna do all, it's called all lettuce blend. So, Say this one again. All lettuce blend seeds. Masculine lettuce. And I have butterfly spinach. I have dill, banana peppers, and cayenne peppers. Now I have all the seeds inside. I'm trying to figure out where should I put them. Now I'm gonna put my pepper seeds, I got cayenne and banana peppers. Put them in right here. Supposed to be in 
Yeah. Oh wow, it's so quiet. You can't even hear it. So now I'm gonna jump to grow up. And yeah, so I will do an update and let y'all know what it looks like then. Okay guys, this is a this is just a one day update. And I don't know if you can see it, but you can already see some have already germinated just a little. Again, this is one day. Today is December 8th, 2020. And we did this December 7th, 2020. All right, everybody. So it's been how many days? I want to say five. Yep, five days. Um, right now, that's progress we've been getting on so far so look at that look, this is so wonderful i'm gonna have to thin some of that out but they said once it reached the top of the dome take it off so now i have room to grow so i'm gonna keep it like that for now on. Um, you can see the deal the deal really start blossoming and start coming out the deal really start coming out. That's nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for that a little while longer with the deal. So that goes that. We got more of the lettuce. See the root really pushed out more than anything. Um, you got more of this lettuce right here. It looks nice. So I'm gonna keep that back on the dome. So, so I'm gonna keep this one out out of the dome, because it's actually touching the top of the uh, lid of this dome. You can see my cayenne peppers are starting to come up. Right there. It's going to come up a little. So cayenne peppers really take a long time to germinate, but these Turned out to do uh, to be very quickly. And you got some of these, they just rooting right now, germinating just a little. Like I said, this machine is very, very it's, it's amazing. I like it. Hey everybody, just uh, another update. It's been 12, 12 days already, and look at everything. So as you can see, this is my a cayenne pepper plant right here. The lettuce and it's growing so perfectly in the front. You can see my deal is doing amazing. And I'm just so proud of my deal. Well pleased with my deal. And look at this lettuce right here. Okay, now it's time to thin some stuff out of here. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Um, as you know, as you can remember, I had my uh, spinach in here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had my spinach in there and then I had my banana peppers in there. So I put more banana pepper seeds in there because I ain't get no progress. Uh, and now I changed my spinach because I took the spinach seeds out, as you can see. Uh, the spinach I took out and replaced it with strawberries. And so it looks like the strawberries are already doing so well. It's, it's, I guess it's striking. So yeah, that's again, that's the update. And yeah, it's day 12 and Again, this is the I do hydroponic system. Uh, and I just been having it on normal. Uh, I've been having it on normal all day. So yeah. Anyway, this is what it looks like in three or four weeks. So uh, look at the progress of this. It's amazing. You know, I didn't really thin out any of them, and that's what it looks like. They're gonna separate out. You actually see where I thin out now, now, but. Uh, But other than that, this looks amazing. The previous plant that I had in there, the um, banana pepper, or the spinach, which I changed it to strawberries, still has not germinated. So I think it's because I kept the ones inside the same material or what it grew inside of. But other than that, this is it. Look at this progress. This is worth it. This is worth it all. Now we'll be doing a comparison with the Arrow Garden 
and the I do that I have right here. So until then, this this is still great quality. This is good. This is like I said for starters, and it's amazing. Okay, y'all. So it's been 22 days um, since I last planted my harvest right here, and as you can see, everything looks great. But if you notice that I'm missing my cayenne pepper plant, and that's okay. I'm just a little sad, sad or heartbroken about it because uh, my friend Cat came over and just started chewing on it. I was like, oh no, is the plant okay? I mean, and then I started seeing if the cat was okay. But everything else is still fresh. Um, I did not get any progress with the banana peppers or the strawberries I planted back here. Nothing. You can see it's like a little, oops. Moldy in here, I guess. So I'm gonna just start brand new. Um, let's be sure that's focused, man. Yep, so I'm gonna start brand new. But uh, y'all remember I talked about these little white sticks? These are for supporting the plant. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Um, but I have it on enjoy mode, and you can hear the pump. Yeah, so that's the pump. But I'm just, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I thin it, thin them out later, uh, trim it, or use my shear to cut some of the leaves off. And my dill, my dill is doing really well. Look at that, that's that's excellent. But yeah, that's what I really want to talk about. And this week I will be buying a Arrow Garden Bounty, and I will do a compare comparison with it with this and see why is it better and more expensive i, I guess um, to me i think they all do the same thing but you won't know until you get it so like i said this is this is amazing this is a wonderful harvest uh a wonderful turnout i should say everything looks good uh you got a little couple yellow leaves down there a little winter leaves down here but other than that everything looks amazing and great i do recommend this I should say I will recommend this. Um, but yeah, everything looks amazing. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. This is City Boy Farming. Please like, subscribe, share. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments and let me know. Thank you. Peace.